What's up guys, the game animation sample got updated with a brand new 5.7 release. So today we're gonna go ahead and check out all of the new features, so let's check them out. First things first, to update the game animation sample to the brand new 5.7 update, you first of all need to install 5.7.1 and then go into your 5 library, click create project and select the version of 5.7. And when you do this, game animation sample will automatically go ahead and use the brand new version. And that's it. And once you open up the brand new editor and press play, you can see that we have a brand new character and new rams and terrains and things like that. So first things first, let's go into this widget over here because we can actually scroll down and check out the new character over here, which uses the mover component. And this will be the default way of handling movement for characters in Unreal Engine. So instead of using the default movement component that we all know about, we will use mover, which is way better for physics, networks, and all that stuff in multiplayer. So let's go ahead and select this new character and move around. So there we go. We are right here. And if we go and do everything as usual, as just jump over here we can see that everything is still working and you might even feel it that it's a bit more fluid i don't know if this is just me but uh it feels really really fluid so now let's go up into this uh huge ramp over here because if we press c as you can see while running we do an insane slide which is insane in like in a lot of games so let's jump this up and there we go now we can literally just go run and slide and as you can see, we're literally sliding across the whole ramp because, well, there's a bigger angle for a character to slope in. And obviously there's uh, the crouching if you just tap the C instead of holding him. And then there's just better IK for the feet and all that stuff, which is really, really insane. But that's not all, because if we go back to default buttons, we will see a couple of new options. So first of all, we can uh, view the controls if I'm missing something. But uh, yeah, we have the movement as we had camera, walk, sprint, crouch, which was added in the previous version. But new, we have the actual sliding. But as you can see, it's in parentheses saying mover only. That's because it's only available in this brand new character that we just selected a couple seconds ago because it's just using the new physics or whatever of the uh, mover component. And yeah, we even have uh, for the rotation mode and all that stuff, but that was in the previous uh, updates, so we are not interested on that. But if we go over here, you will see a new uh, button, which is to go into this course. Actually, this is not the button that was <laughs> specifically saying. Is this other new button? There we go. Here it is, which is to uh, go into an NPC level. So if we go over here. There we go. We are in this brand new level with NPCs, and as you can see, they are interacting with these benches, and you're sitting down, which is quite quite cool. Nothing crazy from the other world, but it is something new. There's now literally NPCs embedded in the game animation sample, and this wasn't available before. We usually had to create our own AIs, expanding from the default blueprints, but now that's literally a feature in this version of the game animation sample. And they even go ahead and interact with benches, with literally smart objects to play an animation and sit down and everything. And you will see that they also support a lot of features to have them just running around and everything it is really cool and yeah here we go we have this really cool thing but not only that because we also have another insane template or level however you want to call it which i don't know why they didn't include it here because it's super cool but if we go and open up levels you'll see the locomotor level and if we go ahead and press play you can see this insane machine that i'm controlling right now and move it around and this is the brand new plugin that they introduced in 5.6 which enables you to move ik humanoids or creatures or machines like you see over here with uh, a node in uh, the control ring which is super cool and super easy to set up okay and yeah they really make it stand out over here I mean, it looks insane. Look at all the legs moving. And this uh, is very easy to set up. It just takes literally a node and some, um, you know, bones in your hierarchy to make this work. So now they have an embedded level in the game animation sample, which is really cool where you can learn about it. And that's, you know, another advantage of this stuff. And back in the NPC levels, as you can see, they're right here. We can open them up 
and as you can see they're basically pretty much just uh, sandbox characters but with some uh, improvements and if we scroll down uh, you will see that this one's actually use the character movement component, the old one, because yeah, for NPCs, uh, we cannot still use um, the mover component, I believe, or if it's so, well, in that case, they just chose to use character movement for the regular characters. Uh, but yeah, we have the smart object detection for this benches over here. And uh, yes, pretty, pretty cool. We have even slots where they can sit, uh, which is quite insane. So you can just reuse this for whatever you want. Uh, and then if we go back to our default map, okay, and I actually go ahead and press play and then I change to my new character over here All right, and then I just uh, press f8 select this you will see How we don't have any uh, character movement component anymore. We are actually using uh, mover and here we go It's here yeah now we're using this so uh bye bye to character movement component for a bit <laughs> i would say because now the way is to use the mover component and that's it guys if you found this video helpful i would really appreciate it if you could like video and subscribe to my channel this is just gonna get insane so there's upcoming tutorials that i'm working on with this new game animation sample version so everyone will learn how to use this in their own games and now yes with all that said bye bye